Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So, little little spoiler alert for this. I am actually filming this intro after the workout that you are about to see because when I filmed this intro yesterday, no, day before, Oakley was having a little bit of a temper tantrum in the background and I didn't realise how loud he was being. He's completely okay, he was okay in that temper tantrum, Jack was with him, but he was just being super, super loud. So I'm actually recording this intro, the next workout that I'm doing, but when I edited it yesterday and planned to post that video yesterday when I was meant to, I just, I didn't want to put you guys through hearing Oakley crying and it just sounded really bad, but yeah, so this is, this is an intro post the workout, but I just thought I'd go through and say the stuff that I said in the other intro because it was an important part of the video. So today we have a upper body workout. We only need dumbbells for the workout. I think, I think it's all on the floor. You can use, for the majority of the stuff that I'm doing, you can use a seat or a bed, the floor, whatever. You only need dumbbells essentially. We have some like adjustable dumbbells is the only way I can describe them. They're like plate loaded dumbbells. So we can adjust the weight of it. But in the workout, I have some push exercises in there. And if you guys are new to the channel, you'll not know that I have like, not an injury, but muscular imbalance kind of thing. So I am literally just getting back to doing push exercises. I haven't done push in, I want to say six months because I was told by a physio not to do push. So I haven't been doing it and I'm not meant to do it heavy yet. I'm only meant to do lightweight. So you'll see in the workout that I'm using relatively lightweight and high reps for the majority of the workout. And that is completely okay. But in regards to muscle building, which is obviously the kind of theme of this video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about like rep ranges and how it works. So obviously I have to do high reps for the push exercises. I have to do light weight for the push exercises. So that means that I'm compensating by that by doing high reps because the key thing for building muscle is to go to failure and in the muscle that you're working. So say on push exercises, I need to go until my chest can't push it anymore. But there's a key distinction between the two with high reps so in high reps you'll probably notice if you've done any high rep stuff before that you burn like you get a like the, the burning feeling that you get that lactic acid buildup you get that in high reps but that is not the failure that we need to build muscle the failure that we need is where the muscle literally can't go anymore you want to get to about like one or two reps away from failure you want to go for failure if you possibly can the good rule of thumb is to kind of like do two hard sets if however many you're doing say if you're doing like four sets for one exercises a good rule of thumb is to do two really hard sets where you literally go to failure or you could only get possibly one more rep and then for the other two just give yourself a little bit of an easier ride but still go close to failure because that that is the way to go to build muscle so I, like I say, because I have to do lightweight, I have to do high rep, and I go to failure. A lot of people say to build muscle, you have to do low rep. It's not necessarily the case. It's just low rep is so much easier to know whether you're going to actual failure. As I'm sure you can imagine, if you're doing higher weight stuff, you can't physically pick up a weight. So if you're doing bench or chest press or whatever, if you're doing high weight, but like you physically can't move that bar, any bar anymore, it's a lot easier to understand that you have actually gone to failure rather than pushing through that bloody awful burning feeling that you might have to stop for before the muscle can go to failure, if that makes sense. So your muscle can burn to the point where your brain's like, no, you need, you need to stop before the muscle actually fails. So that's why people tend to do like high weight, low rep. And that's why people are like, do this muscle building, but it doesn't necessarily mean you have to. It's just, if you're going to do low weight, high rep stuff, you have to make sure that you're actually going to failure rather than stopping short of that, but just because it burns more. I hope that makes sense. So yeah that's kind of the gist of that for muscle building i am going to talk more about muscle building throughout this workout so if you're here because of that like that's what the title is please carry on watching because throughout the workout i talk a little bit about 
how to build muscle at home because everything shuts still so this is obviously a home workout and we're talking about building muscle at home so yeah that's coming with this workout like i said you only need some dumbbells uh, you can deal with one dumbbell for the majority, but there is some exercises that I do use too. But you can probably get away with using one if you've only got one dumbbell. Or you can use whatever you want. That means anything that's got weight. Obviously, some of the exercises you do kind of need something to grip on to, so keep that in mind. But if you don't have any dumbbells, you can use whatever you can find that adds some resistance. You can add bands, you can add, use like, I don't even know, I haven't got anything heavy to show you whatever you can find that works for the exercises you can also use there are i think there's seven exercises one of them is a superset so i think there's actually eight exercises and it takes a while but in this workout we are hitting each muscle group once apart from shoulders i love to train shoulders i love the look of big shoulders so i train shoulders a little bit more so we only train the muscle group once with the idea that I am going to do another upper body workout sometime this week. If I was only doing one upper body like day this week, I'd probably put the muscle groups in once or twice. There is a little bit of like, you, if you guys know me, you'll know I'm into research. So there's a little bit of discrepancy. There was a new paper that came out last week actually talking about frequency, but all the papers that I've seen so far apart from this one, says that the ideal amount to train a muscle group to put on muscle is two or three times so i do upper body twice lower body twice so then i've hit the muscle groups twice that week obviously if you're going to do like a body part split like chest one day shoulders one day arms another day you're only going to hit that muscle group once so it's not great for building muscle it's all right like if you're using the correct amount of intensity you're probably going to put on a little bit of muscle but it's not optimal like the best way to do it is to train the muscle groups two or three times a week which is why i always put my clients and me on upper body lower body splits because it's just easier it's quicker and it's just best to hit the muscle two or three times a week so yeah that's it i'm gonna stop rambling now we're gonna get on with the workout hope you guys enjoy and i shall talk to you in proper time after a few um, exercises. So yeah, see you soon. on muscle in lockdown regarding regarding as long as you are doing adequate exercise and like stimulus to the muscles so weights you also need to think about like what you're eating so i know in lockdown eating is a bit of a weird thing to tackle because you i think food is a lot of what we guys are using as like re reward and making us feel better but if you are trying to put on muscle, you still need to be thinking about your protein intake. I know it's harder, but I'm sorry if it's loud, by the way, I've got the window open because it's too hot in here, but you need to make sure that you're still eating enough protein. A good way of making sure you're eating enough is a gram per pound, a gram of protein per pound of body weight. And you also need to be making sure that you're eating enough calories because if you are putting on, if you want to put on muscle you need to be at maintenance or above above is better and um, for males it typically needs to be above maintenance 
especially if you want to put on muscle, like quite a lot of it. Females, it's, there's a bit of like contradiction in the literature, but females, the best thing to do is be on more than maintenance, but you could get away with maintenance, but your progress is gonna be so much slower. So if you are wanting to put on muscle, make sure that you're eating enough food in lockdown, which I know like it, it, it's gonna be best, when we're in lockdown because I think a lot of us are just eating and eating and eating but yeah you need to be making sure that you're eating enough food and also the right types of food so obviously you can eat whatever you want but just make sure that you've got that protein in there don't make sure like make sure that it's not all carbs or all fats just make sure that there's a high enough protein intake in there otherwise the calories that you are eating aren't necessarily going to help with putting on muscle you need to have some protein in there so yeah there's just just keep that in mind as well as doing the exercises and putting the right amount of effort in there. One thing as well with building muscle at home is that you still, I'm really sorry if it's so loud, you still need to be doing hypertrophy principles. So by that I mean that you need to be increasing your, your amount of volume, reps and frequency every week. So hang on, I'm gonna close that because it's too far too loud for you. Hopefully that's a little bit better for you. So you need to be increasing either, well, we'll forget about frequency for now. So say you're gonna hit this muscle twice a week. You either need to increase your reps, your sets, or your weight. And that can be even a tiny, tiny amount, but it needs to happen each time you do that same exercise. So say if you are doing lateral raises, like I've done, you would, and you're doing three kilograms for three sets for 10 reps. If you've started with that, you need to increase that throughout the weeks. So if you do 10 reps, you could increase that to 12 reps or you could add an extra set on. That increases it a lot though. So if you're wanting to increase it, just be careful with sets because if you're gonna increase sets, you end up doing like six sets uh, like later weeks. So maybe forget about sets unless you've started with two sets and you wanna increase your volume by quite a big amount. So I'd focus on reps and weight. So you could either increase that rep amount to 12 reps or you could increase your weight to four four kilograms rather than three but you need to make sure that if you're increasing that weight you need to keep the reps the same if you increase the weight to four kilograms but then you put the reps down to six you have negated that volume and like increase so the volume actually goes down rather than going up because you've reduced the amount of reps that you've done so you need to make sure that if you're going up you need to either be able to do the same amount of reps. Sometimes you can get away with doing one less rep depending on how big the jump is, but you need to figure that out. There are some really good apps out there that do it for you. So I use Strong to track my workouts. So I use Strong and there's the volume like calculator in there. So when you put in what weight you've done, it'll say whether you've gone up in volume, down in volume or stayed the same. So you, you just need to figure it out or use a calculator to do that. One thing I forgot to say as well, it doesn't have to be like every set that you increase that free, that volume. It can be just one set and you'll see that in apps like Strong, it'll look at the exercise on a whole for volume increase rather than just like the set. So say if you, again, the example of lateral raises, if you're doing like three kilos for three sets, 10 reps. If you just did 12 reps for one of those sets, that's still increasing your volume. Not a lot, but it's still increasing your volume, but every little counts, so just try and like keep adding volume where you can.
this video if you do do the workout please let me know i love knowing whether you actually like do <laughs> the, the kind of videos that i do please let me know i hope you guys liked it if you did like it though please make sure to leave a like on the video because it just really helps me out it helps knowing what you guys like to see if you want any other workout content or home kind of fitness stuff please just let me know and i'm happy to do it i just need ideas so yeah thank you for watching subscribe if you are new and i shall see you in the next video chickpeas bye